Hi, I'm Jennifer Finn. When I first started reading The Soul Talkers by Dr. Funam Makama, I knew I was getting a story about students at a big university poetry competition. As a poet myself, I knew I was in for a treat. What I didn't know was how much I would enjoy all the characters, especially the protagonists, Don and Larissa, as they discovered that they were meant to be more than friends. The supporting characters embrace poetry as well. It was interesting to see what kind of poetry they would compose. I like happy endings, and this book definitely has one. And if you love poetry, the Soul Talkers is definitely for you. Thank you. My name is Mrs. Stephanie Atta, currently in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. I am not a reader, nor a fan of poetry or fiction. But after a strong recommendation and persistence from a friend, who took it upon herself to get me a book called The Soul Talkers, I decided to give it a try to know what the fuse was all about. And trust me, I couldn't stand up from that spot until I got to the last page of this interesting story. As a matter of fact, my neighbor has taken the book away from me. That is why he's not part of this video. One word is not enough to describe the soul talker. It's interesting, amazing, breathtaking. From the protagonist to the emotional and relatable twist to the glorious ending. I cried through the quarterfinals, semifinals and finals of the poetry tournament because of its immense suspense and creative twists that were involved in the plot. The characters, Don Coca, Pontius Pilate, Bataro Virus, they all made the story interesting and enjoyable. Honestly, I can't wait to see it develop into a movie. The world should get ready for a story that will smash record and put it to a standstill. Great job! Hi, my name is Amna Jumwa and I live in Staffordshire, the UK. I just finished reading The Soul Talkers and oh my god, this has to be one of the best books I have ever read. It's a different kind of thriller with an evolving suspense as the story goes on. The characters are so relatable. Mahmoud, Pisha's Pilot, Larissa, and don't even get me started with the main character, Don. I am in love. The intriguing nature of how the story is told is amazing. The combination of love triangle, campus life, football, and poetry. I never thought I would like poetry, let alone understand it. The creativity is top notch. Let me not spoil it for you. Everything I just said is literally a fraction of me trying to express myself about this masterpiece. I cannot stress enough on how I want this book to be a movie. Definitely a potential blockbuster. I'm not even exaggerating. Just put your hands on the soul talkers and you'll see what I'm talking about. When my friend and my brother, Funa Makama, asked me to review a copy of his book, The Soul Talkers, I knew I was in for a retreat. And boy, I wasn't disappointed. From the first party um, till the end where there was the graduation party it was a love triangle interwoven with so many things Larissa, Rachel, Don, Vlad, Pontius Pilate gave us something to look forward to with every page that we turned uh, I would recommend this book to anyone who wants to just you know enjoy the sultry poems that uh, Phonom um, wrote in this book and also just enjoy the gossip that comes with being on campus and also just see the importance of good long-term relationships and just enjoy a really really good book i would recommend you go to amazon right now and grab your copy of the soul talkers by Phonom makama Hi everyone, my name is Mrs. Esther. I live in Birmingham. Have you read The Soul Talkers? Yeah, you, I'm talking to you. If you haven't, what are you still waiting for? I'm um, The Soul Talkers. It's a wonderful, the storyline, so intriguing, suspense filled, and the characters top notch. Don Kuka, my perfectionist who only exists in the fantasy world. Um, Pontius Pilate, the stubborn one, but <laughs> really interesting. Larissa, my softy, and the campus life in general. It's, it, it's, it's a must read book. And also the poems, 
I'm not, I'm not the poetry type, but trust me, when I read this, the poem made me to fall in love over and over again. And finally, oh, I will love this to be a movie because I know it's going to be a wonderful movie. Thank you. My name is Mrs. Stephanie Atta, currently in Rotterdam. I am not a reader, not a fan of poetry or fiction. But after a strong recommendation from a friend who took it upon herself to get me a book called The Soul Talkers, I decided to give it a try to know what the fuse was all about. And trust me, I couldn't stand up for where I was seated until I got to the last page of this interesting book. One word is not enough to describe The Soul Talkers. As a matter of fact, my neighbor has taken the book away from me. That is why I'm not part of this clip. It's awesome, breathtaking, and interesting. I cried through the quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals because of its immense suspense and creative twists that were involved in the plot. From the protagonist to the emotional and relatable poems to the glorious ending. The characters Don Coca, Pontius Pilate, Rachel Smith, Bataro Virus all made the story interesting and enjoyable honestly i can't wait to see develop into a movie the world should get ready for a story that will smash record and put it to a standstill great job phenomenal